Welcome to this lesson on harmonic sequences. It's an indispensable tool for a composer because it, it serves three purposes, or it can. Uh, it, first of all, it can add variety. Secondly, the sequence can effectively transition between sections like a bridge. And then third, which can be the same but not necessarily, it can modulate into a different key. Uh, now, a sequence is a progression that's restated off of a different tone of the scale. Uh, and it can be either diatonic or chromatic, and they both uh, are effective in different measures and for different reasons. I'm going to play two examples. The first is from Beethoven's Hammerklavier, the slow movement. And this is a diatonic progression going from the tonic in F sharp minor, uh, well, the, the temporary key of E flat major back into the tonic of F sharp minor. So we can see how he d does this, and then on, on the whiteboard we'll see what sequence of, uh, of steps and skips, as well as the key changes he goes through to do this effectively. And then we'll look at a chromatic sequence as well. So th this is the part that leads into the sequence. actually going on here. So these are the um, temporary keys for each uh, each restatement of that sequence going from uh, like I said the temporary key of E flat major and when it's lowercase this means minor. Um, now the the basic sequence starting from the eighth note drops down a third, whether it's a major or minor third, and we'll talk about that in just a moment, to the, uh, the, the quarter note down another third, back up a sixth, and then the sequence starts over again. And then this, this note ends up being a different note than the starting note. Even though 3 plus 3 is 6, when these are different, uh, different types or different qualities of those intervals, we end up on different notes. So this is the sequence. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to name every one here because you can just read it yourself. But um, when we're doing a diatonic sequence, we uh, we can't repeat the same major third, minor third, major sixth in each sequence because inevitably it's going to going to deviate from the diatonic scale. And if it's a diatonic progression or, or um, sequence, as in Beethoven's music. Uh, he he frequently changes the quality of the intervals to fit the scale, and so we can see how he ends up from E flat major to F sharp minor, which are um, to a degree unrelated keys. I mean, there are definite relations between the two, but we we have to go through a, a series of of other keys first in order for it not to be awkward, or in, unless uh, we're just doing a straight cadence of of some sort, of, um, and so. This is how he uh, accomplished that. Now we'll look at a, a chromatic sequence and see uh, one of Chopin's mazurkas. So in Beethoven's, uh, or in Chopin's first mazurka, his opus 6, uh, mazurka in F-sharp minor, he does a, a chromatic progression because uh, he, uh, well, I'll go ahead and play and you can see, but temporarily he goes into E major into A major. And then in order to get back to the relative minor of a, a major, he uses a chromatic progression in a descending pattern. So, I should have found this beforehand. Okay, here we go. Instance, the the intervals uh, 
being expressed are going to be um, repeated exactly the same because it's chromatic. He doesn't have to stick to the um, exact diatonic scale. So hopefully this has given you a few ideas, a couple of ideas regarding how to effectively use a, the idea of a sequence for one of those three purposes that I uh, I said at the beginning. And um, as with most instances in composition, we can't really just lay out a formula about how it works. You can see what generally works, what the general ideas behind it are. And so um, those are two examples, but I encourage you to take a lot of the material from one of the primary or subordinate themes or some other major element in the composition and then use that and try to uh, repeat it in different uh, tones of the scale or chromatically like in Chopin and um, see what your purpose is, whether it's to go to a different section of the piece or something else.